Well, we have several options right now. We can go back into Walters's and hunt where we know there is a turkey. Or we can go down by the river and try and call a turkey across, which is a long shot. Or we can try and get across the river and kill a turkey. So those are the three options. We'll see what we come up with. Well, right now we're devising a system to get two men across the river in a one-man kayak. You do know when this rope breaks and my kayak goes floating down the river, we're gonna rock, paper, scissors for who gets in it, gets after it. We have the nine foot otter kayak that has spent the last eight months under my deck. It's custom camouflaged. I have 35 yards of Baylor twine? That tree is 33 and a half yards away. same call we've called to them all morning with. So hopefully they're hoping that the hen they think is over there is now over here. We'll drop off this train trussel and then get up on the other ridge and then we'll sit down and call. And we sat down right away and a turkey gobbled like, I don't know, 150 yards away. And then nothing. It rained a little bit. This is this turkey is just strutting up on the end of this point. And he probably has hens with him. And the one thing the rain will do is it'll make this a lot quieter in the woods. I said, alright Dave, let's sneak down into the draw because there's that big draw that comes up from the trussel and goes all the way in. We called a couple of times and stopped and called a couple more times and nothing, nothing. Then so we got to the edge of that woods. And Dave sits down and starts the videotape. I call a little bit and I crawl out to the edge and like 125 yards. There's three toms strutting and a couple more jakes and stuff. There And they wanted nothing to do with us because they were strutting on a dirt patch that's dead in the middle of that green field. So they couldn't, we couldn't get close. So we called and sat for, I don't know, maybe, what, maybe an hour? And nothing happened, nothing happened. And I said, Dave, bring your camera out and raise it up so you can see the turkeys. And I'll try and belly crawl and shoot one. And the grass is like this tall. So I took all my crap off, took the sling, sling off my gun. Grab my rangefinder and my gun because I knew it was going to be a poke when I got out there. I started to crawl and there was another Tom. There were three strutting and another Tom was watching the whole time and he kept seeing me. And I'm crawling and I got from like 110 yards to like 85. And that Tom kept seeing me and the two that were strutting were in the back of the pack and he started leading the turkeys away. Well, they got over a little rise. So I got up on all fours and crawled as hard as I could, poked over and there were two strutting like sideways I pulled my rangefinder up and it was like between 55 and 51 yards and the, the big 10 gauge is good out to that distance so it popped up and wham they flew everywhere and I ran up and grabbed him that was the best adventure hunt ever Dave I 
have succeeded in finding the most uncomfortable form of locomotion known to man. But, one thing these toms did wrong is get over the crest. They were at 85 yards. Until they got over this crest, I crawled to 51 and got him. Best part about this turkey, let's take a look at that. That right there is a limb hanger. That is one long shot, but that is one heck of a turkey. This is a Browning BPS 10 gauge that's magnaported. And it shoots a Kix choke tube with Winchester number fours. And it really thumps a turkey. That was an incredibly exciting hunt. Probably a four or five year old. It's got an absolute rope of a beard. That's probably 11 inches. It's one of the longest beards I've ever killed on a turkey. And these spurs, I would say inch and three eighths to inch and a half. Look at them from the backside. He's an absolute beautiful turkey. This is the kind of turkey that turkey freaks go crazy for because it has a heck of a set of spurs and a real long beard. There, all legal and ready for a swim. This is the prime example of the limb hanging turkey. <sighs> See, the difference between my turkey hunting philosophy and a lot of people is I go out in the woods and try and screw around and have fun and generally a dead turkey is a byproduct, not the other way around. Like I told Dave, I'm pretty zen about turkey hunting because up until the point that you shoot a turkey, the worst thing that could happen is you didn't get one. And that's already happened. Freaking mangled him for that far. That big, I bought that 10 gauge from Joe Gerke and I polished it and got a fancy choke tube for it and out to 60 yards, it'll freaking mangle a turkey. I mean, he's just, if you roll him over, he's just beat up. It looks mm. like I shot him at 20 yards with a 12 gauge. Extra 12 pounds of the world's heaviest turkey gun. The farther you paddle, the current catches all the rope. And as, yeah, he's got the rope on one side, the farther you go, the more it pulls. Holy cat, that creates a lot of drag. All right, I'm gonna aim for that branch as hard as I can go. Right now, Dave is across the river, but we've got my turkey and some of my gear back across. The one key item I didn't send back for Dave was the boat paddle. So he's gonna do his best. Sorry, Dave. I believe there's a saying about this, something about up the creek. Dave, next time we'll have a checklist before we send the boat back. Yeah, paddle. <laughs> Check. <laughs> It's a short checklist. But when you're impatient like me, a little extra reach on the old shotgun is pretty handy. Well, I had both arms ahead of me holding the gun ready to shoot, and I was just pushing off with my toes. <laughs> the most awful form of locomotion ever. Just really, really hurt. It shouldn't be a big deal to go shoot this turkey. Right now, we're gonna hit Justin, Joe's hired man. Expectations are high. I would literally, if I could find another pair of these gloves, I would pay $100 for them. I'm not that great a turkey caller, which is why I bring my extremely large 10 gauge, because I'm not that patient either. All right, let's go try something new. 